Welcome. Welcome, welcome. One of my favorite classes to teach. I teach it often privately every now and again. I think this is the second time I've taught it uh, publicly. It's a lovely pleasure to be here with you today. I uh, always start by saying that I had as a teenager and then well into my 20s after taking birth control for too many years, uh, eating really improperly, um, I had cystic acne and it was really bad, really bad. Uncomfortable to be with myself. I was uncomfortable to go to work. Uh, I was uh, engaging with estheticians who would, um, you know, really create a lot of drama for me with regards to very strong treatments and peels and so forth. It wasn't until my late twenties into my early thirties that I discovered essential oils and then have committed myself ever since to creating an understanding, a great body of teaching around the oils. And in particular, because it is so relevant to me and because I lived through so many years of such discomfort, such acute discomfort with my skin, I'm very passionate about this. So here we go. And you can definitely take notes. Um, like I said earlier, I'm going to be maybe 20 minutes on this presentation, very quick and very simple. The first thing is the most important thing and that is hydration. This water is slightly tinted because I always put a little bit of chloroxygen into my water, okay? Uh, just a few drops is all you need to make it this color. If you wanna go a little bit darker, that's fine. This is a blood cleaner chlorophyll. Notice it's not an oil. Uh, and it's the first thing I always talk about when it comes to your skin because your skin needs to have a, um, a real hydration coming from within. That is the most important thing that you are hydrated. And like I said, the chlorophyll is key for me. Um, I use the doTERRA Lifelong Vitality Supplements. I find them to be incredibly helpful for keeping my entire system balanced. When I started to use them, this is going back about eight or 10 years, um, there was a, a, a real true shift in my health. That shift, because of the quality of the supplements that doTERRA makes, because of the focus on the gut biome, that shift came about over a very steady period of time where my skin just slowly, slowly, slowly began to clear up and it never got bad again. Why? I firmly believe that the focus on hydration, the nutritional choices that I've made and continue to make, and the supplementation is absolutely crucial for the state, the health of our skin and, and for your longevity overall, which is reflected of course in your skin. So let's talk about those supplements for a few moments and then we're getting right into actual skincare routines. Um, the lifelong vitality supplements from doTERRA, tremendous. As I said previously, for those of you just joining us, I will stay after to make appointments with you if you would like to have a private consultation or if you would like to ask questions at the end of this presentation. The Lifelong Vitality includes uh, what I think is the most important aspect of the skincare is the omegas. This is the XE Omega, which is fish-based. The VE Omega is plant-based. So you get to choose if you want your supplements vegan or not. There is of course the multiplex, which is a multivitamin. And there is of course the alpha CRS, which is your antioxidant. I don't need to show them to you here. All the bottles get um, placed into my little dorky vitamin tray. So most of you have seen that. I don't need to show you that. The additional supplements that I take to uh, amend, enhance the health of my skin. One is DDR prime by far. I feel that this is one of the most important supplements that we can take at this time. It is a combination of frankincense, wild orange, litsea, thyme, clove, summer savory, neoli, and lemongrass. To put these compounds into my body on a pretty much daily basis, I would say I take this at least once a day. Sometimes I take it twice a day if I know that I'm going to be out and about, or I know I'm not getting enough sleep, or I worked out really hard. This DDR prime is the way that I keep my entire system healthy overall. The presence of several respiratory tonifying compounds 
in this supplement, make this a very rational choice for this time. I already showed you the XC Omega. Talk about moisturizing yourself from the inside. That's how I see omegas overall, essential fatty acids overall, super important. Turmeric, dual chamber capsules contain both tumorones, which are the thing, the yellow powder that you normally see in most turmeric supplements and powders. That's one, uh, sorry, those are the curcuminoids. That's the yellow powder. But this one also contains the tumorones, which is oil-based, distilled from the root of the turmeric. Now, the combination of the curcuminoids and the tumorones make this an incredible supplement for any level of inflammation that you're experiencing in your body to support that release of inflammation. And that includes in my skin. And I have noticed that in my skin. Typically, I will take two of these turmeric capsules before bed. Copaiba. Because my skin always reflected when I was nervous, when I was stressed about it, when I was anxious about something, Copaiba soft gels are the easiest way without having to taste the Copaiba, which some people love. James could drink it all day. I don't like it. So I take the soft gels. <clears throat> Practically speaking, this product should be in every single medicine chest and in every travel bag. Correct X is incredible. If I do get a blemish of any kind, which is so rare these days, <clears throat> I will use Correct X, a little spot of geranium and a little bit of Correct X over top. Okay. The geranium with the Correct X. The Correct X helps the geranium get into the spot. And both the geranium and the Correct X will address, I'm making sure that I'm compliant here, will address the support of the clearing of the, I don't want to say pathogen, but I want to say, and I can't say the B word that ends with an A that rhymes with racteria. You get the point. Geranium correct X, especially if anything has been opened, the correct X is critical for closing it up and moving on. This is my little bag of treats. Okay. And we're going to start now on actual skincare. For those of you who are in the States and Canada, you have access to the sensitive skin carrier, which is a tremendous product, especially if you are of a certain age, maybe late thirties and above coconut oil might be too drying for you. Okay. So this is an incredible uh, option, the sensitive skin carrier. And this is what I use. Now that that's gone, I used to have to buy, you know, I would buy rosehip oil, jojoba oil, sea buckthorn oil, all kinds of things. Now I can just use this. I make my own blends for what is called oil cleansing, which I'll explain in a moment. I label them very simply. I'm a total dork. The labels always smudge because it's oil. So I sort of remember what's in each one. And I'll give you those recipes in a few moments. Let's talk about the difference between stripping your skin and nourishing your skin, because that is the crux of this particular class and presentation. And I wanna make sure that you understand it. Stripping your skin is what you do when you overwash it. I did this a lot as a teenager, or you wash it with some very sort of abrasive um, uh, powder or something like this. And then you put an astringent toner on. Do you remember Seabreeze? Some of you might remember Seabreeze. It was a US thing. Wow, did I strip my skin completely? And it got to a point where my skin was so dehydrated that it would overproduce oil in order to find homeostasis. And this is the thing that I hope that I will convey today to you. There is no need to strip your skin, to clean your skin. The whole idea of, and it's a very Western, very American idea that you need to shower every day, that you need to clean your face so many times a day. All of that 
can be completely set to the side in favor of nourishing the cells of your skin. To that end, I buy a lot of this and I use a lot of it. I use at least two bottles a month, the sensitive skin carrier. And I combine it just like this. I'll take about a quarter size. I'll show you in just a moment what that would look like. It's about that much, okay? And I combine it with, for today I used rose and vanilla, which was very delicious. Here we are. I used rose with one drop. There we go. And one drop of vanilla. And I'll show you the difference between doing this one. Rub together. And this is what I do when I go to sleep and I wake up in the morning. I put a whole layer of this on my face. Some days I will actually leave that layer and move on. But some days if I'm feeling like, oh, I, I don't know, maybe I was walking around a bunch last night and maybe I was tending to a fire. And so there were lots of little particles getting into my skin. If that's the case, and I really feel like I need a cleaning of some kind, I will leave the oil on my face for a little while. I might even do a little gua sha treatment. And then I will take a soft, clean cloth with warm water and I will gently rub off the oil that's on my face. And then I will actually moisturize with the exact same recipe. It's literally that simple. People send me products all the time. I love so many of the products I get sent. I do, I truly do. But when it comes to what I do on a daily basis, personally, this is it. Oil cleansing and moisturizing, punto. Now, I started doing this in New York. The climate was very different there. And as soon as I began using oil cleansing for my face, my face ceased to produce all that extra oil and everything began to clear. That's the point I wanna get across for today. <clears throat> now, other options, and I'll show you uh, a little slideshow that I've presented, uh, that I prepared for you, which is super, super sweet. And it just has a handful of oils for you to learn about here. The first is rose, which we just learned about. And Obviously we went through this already. What's inside matters. These peppermint soft gels are incredible and enteric coated. They get only released in your small intestine. Anytime you're feeling digestively challenged, that's the product that I reach for because anytime I'm feeling digestively challenged, the first place that starts to break out is right through here. All, my whole chin, digestion, poor digestion leads to overproduction of hormones or underproduction of hormones and boom acne. Okay. So what's inside really does matter. We went over that already. Here's oil cleansing for all skin types. Some of you might prefer the fractionated coconut oil, especially if you're a little bit younger and your skin can take it. I find coconut oil to be quite drying for my skin, but you might love it. And I loved it for a long time. Um, my favorite sandalwood is Hawaiian sandalwood, mostly because well, first of all, you can find a million studies about it on the NIH and PubMed websites regarding this and skin conditions. That's all I can say on this video. I encourage you to look up those studies. I love the Hawaiian sandalwood because I prefer the smell. It's a little sweeter for me than the Indian sandalwood. And I was part of the reforestation project three years ago on the big island of Hawaii, care of doTERRA, where we are, we have replanted an entire forest of sandalwood and their um, sort of adjacent beneficial other trees. There are two other kinds and I'm blanking on the names right now, but we planted all three and they help each other grow and they will be mature when I am 80 years young. Sandalwood is a super, super recommendation for your skincare. Um, and I, I tend to go towards sandalwood when I've been in the sun an awful lot for post sun care. 
And that goes along also with helichrysum. Helichrysum is an incredible oil uh, to, to deal with the effects of sun exposure. That much I can say. It's the immortelle flower, incredibly efficient in um, getting into your skin and bringing everything back together. Helichrysum is also really good to have around when you have cuts, abrasions, open things on your face, let's say, open situations on your face or your skin. Helichrysum is the one. There are two oils that I brought here that are not for skincare, but I love them in addition to my skincare. The first is rosemary. And I bring you rosemary because I use rosemary every morning and night, just a couple of drops. I already have some sensitive skin carrier on, so it's already diluted. And I put it all over my scalp. If you are somebody who loves a little stimulation, who uh, fancies a spicy or savory scent, who might be experiencing some hair loss, Rosemary also can be found on PubMed and NIH in studies. It was compared with minoxidil, which is known to regrow hair. Rosemary oil did a better job of hair regrowth than the pharmaceutically created manufactured option. So I always do that. And usually I'll do the rosemary routine right after I put everything on my face so that my face doesn't get covered with rosemary. Then I'll put it on my hair. Then I'll do the following, more carrier and a little bit of basil. Goes right on my kidneys. Why? Basil is a tonifier of kidney chi. Gives us energy, clears the field. So I take a little bit in my hands, I expose my lower back and I just press my hands to my lower back for a few moments. In those moments, I close my eyes. I feel the rosemary being absorbed. I feel the basil going in. I smile to myself in the mirror and I take a few deep breaths. If something really hard is happening during those few moments and breaths, I will give myself empathy. I might say something out loud or whisper it if James is still asleep. I might just look in the mirror and deliver myself empathy telepathically. I really do this and I swear, I find my confidence, my level of comfort in the world, my presence has shifted with this practice. It doesn't require any book or any teacher. It's you giving yourself some empathy. How human of you that this happened to you. How human that this is how you were thinking about it. How human of you that this is something that you are considering. Give yourself empathy. After that, there are three oils that are absolutely crucial that I love to blend into my skincare and they look beautiful together too. Black spruce. Tulsi, holy basil, you will have this soon in Europe, I promise. And of course, my girl geranium. Okay, as I pointed out to you, <clears throat> and let's go to the next slide. Of course, I forgot my frankincense because it's so obvious. More on that in a moment. As I pointed out to you, geranium is amazing when you have any kind of... Um, a uh, real serious under the skin situation, okay? Geranium, neat. You do not need to dilute geranium if you have something going on in your skin that's really serious. Just yesterday, I had a little um, cystic pimple coming up. So I put a little bit on my finger. Every few hours I put it on and it's gone. <laughs> it's gone, it's so satisfying. Frankincense is also incredible, and particularly for the men in your life, if, um, if they shave and they often have a little irritation, frankincense is so good for that. And again, you can dilute it with your coconut oil or your sensitive skin carrier. And a few drops of frankincense. You can also use that frankincense neat. There are a few oils that you can use without dilution. I don't recommend this without 
for without previous experience, but geranium, tea tree, and frankincense are the skin oils that I feel comfortable using without dilution. Geranium, tea tree, and frankincense. I haven't even brought the tea tree here for you. Okay, let's move on. Black spruce, as I was just mentioning, this is an incredible oil for the appearance of dark spots. That's all I can say. I love using this on spots that have persisted over many years. I always use it diluted. I love blending it with both geranium and Tulsi. I also love black spruce with uh, vanilla. These two together are just epic. The scent is just divine. Um, and I also love black spruce and rose. Mm, so lovely. Black spruce is a, uh, an extremely grounding force. I use black spruce often when I'm feeling a little less than connected to myself, less than connected to my family, less than connected to my mission. I'll put black spruce into my facial care that day. And I'll, I'll get into the Chinese medicine and emotional qualities in just a few moments, but I want to breeze through this. There's your geranium. We just spoke about her. And your rose. Rose is the most expensive aside from Melissa. Rose is, I have a few little things that I do with rose because you don't want to use her up too fast. Right between your fingers and right on your nostrils. That's the only way I'll use rose undiluted is when I just take it from the top and do that. Otherwise, I will use it diluted on my skin, in my skincare. I will take a little bit, actually, there's one other way I use it undiluted, right on my heart. God, it's so nice. And then you're smelling it for quite some time. And I believe that is my last slide. So I'll stop sharing here. Wonderful. What I would love to do now is actually uh, talk to you a little bit about some of the qualities of these oils from the perspective of two different schools of thought. The gifts of the essential oils is your emotional oil library. What emotional energetic components does each oil carry? This is where you look for that. Many of you know these books already, and this one is extremely expensive, but well worth it if you fancy knowing about how the oils relate to traditional Chinese medicine. So I'm going to open up my chat. I would like for you to call out into the chat, just go into the chat and say, okay, uh, what oil would you like to learn about right now from these two perspectives? And I will look them up. Tulsi, I knew it. I believe it's in the um, it's in the holy basil in the Chinese medicine book. So that is what Tulsi is, holy basil. Okay. So I'm gonna open up both. So I have them both ready for me. Tulsi, Tulsi, Tulsi. These are the leaves. Okay, I'm almost there. Almost there, page number. Oh, it's going to be under B, of course. Silly me. Okay, perfect. So, Tulsi is one of the functions of Tulsi is that it increases the guardian chi. It rectifies nervousness and anxious feelings. Um, it has a tendency to help with, uh, along with regular basal, respiratory uh, support. 
as well. Um, we understand the myth through the myth and legend of holy basil. It is associated with um, the Tao. In India, holy basil is dedicated to Vishnu, the preservation of life forms. Uh, in Vishnu stands between creation and destruction, as we know, as the balancing force that ties them together as a whole. And it can be thought of as an aspect of the Tao in Chinese culture that binds the yin and the yang. And so Tulsi is a really profound meaning. And I love using it. I, I also use this one less so when I need grounding and more so when I feel like I'm, I'm dispersed and I need things to come together. I need to feel like I am more um, whole within myself, complete within myself. Tulsi is something that I'll reach for. And in my skincare, Tulsi, vanilla, and rose together in my little oil cleansing creation and in my moisturizing is a wonderful way to go. Um, yes, fish new sustains for them exactly. Uh, we'll go to vanilla. I'm just skipping around in the chat to see what we are commenting on. Lang Lang, winter green, vanilla. Okay, great. Calms and frees the spirit. How much fun is it to look things up? Calms and frees the spirit, normalizes the hun or perspective. Uh, it's a wonderful scent when you're feeling tension, frustration, anger. Bring out the vanilla. Unhappy memories can also regulate the menses. Women. Okay. So that's a great one. If you want to grab your Clary Calm roller and put a little vanilla and Clary Calm right on your abdomen. Um, and yeah, that's enough on vanilla. Let's see what else you're looking for. Um, no, the Tulsi is different from regular basil. Regular basil is more indicated in this sort of brightening in the morning. Um, at least in my experience, I've used it for almost five years now, you know, right on my lower back first thing in the morning, the regular basil. I would never use regular basil in my skincare. I would use Tulsi in my skincare, but I feel, and you can see that it's in a five ml bottle, which indicates that it's more rare and harder to come by. Um, Tulsi is more subtle. It's more subtle and it's perfect for skincare. It's not so much for, you know, giving you energy and fortifying kidney chi. It's less about that and more about skincare. <clears throat> so that's the difference there. Uh, asking for sandalwood, I will find, and I will definitely be sending the recording to all the folks who have signed up to be here. So not to worry. Um, <clears throat> I'll look up sandalwood in a moment. Dry, flaky skin. <clears throat> Has a flower word at the beginning and I see it. Ah, of course. Um, so I've been there actually. And I would do your sensitive skin carrier. I would do some copaiba actually with some Roman chamomile, maybe some lavender, just very little. Lavender can be drying and some rose. A little tiny bit of rose, you know? Okay, frank and geranium might be a little too harsh and the fractionated coconut oil might be too dry. So just so you know. Um, <clears throat> and if you're in Europe and you're not yet having the sensitive skin carrier, buy some sea buckthorn oil, organic please. It's very emollient and will help in your blending of your doTERRA oils uh, to create a really fortifying, nourishing um, practice. Okay, jojoba can work too. Um, Zoe is offering that uh, Tulsi holy basil is also a nerve tonic, helping our body's naturally ability to uh, be supported through physical and emotional stress. Okay, that's great. Um, keep in mind the compliance factor, and I will watch all of us. 
Vanilla does sound great for wood issues. That is precisely correct, Zoe. And it is even in fact in the book that it is for wood issues. Um, DDR Prime soft gels and Copaiba soft gels. DDR Prime, I usually take two of those in the morning and Copaiba I'll take in, you know, sometime in the middle of the day with lunch, like that. But only on the days when I'm, Copaiba only comes into the mix on the days when I'm feeling particularly uh, challenged, stressed. I've eliminated the word frustrated from my own vocabulary. I don't like to use it in reference to myself, but that is a word that comes to mind. Okay. Um, rosemary, let's look up sandalwood and rosemary first. And I'm gonna go to the gifts of the essential oils first for these. We will find some sandalwood on page. Do, do, do. She doesn't list the oils in the back, so I'm going to look for the woods. Here we go. Oh, Hinoki. Okay, sandalwood is about mutuality, emergence, divine inspiration. My gift to you is alignment. Interesting, no? <clears throat> Sandalwood is a connection between heaven and earth. Sandalwood is uh, a, a way for you to, to create within yourself a sensation of being aligned with yourself in order to go ahead and align with whatever it is that is on your plate that day. I love using sandalwood in my skincare. Like I said, I often will reach for it when I've been in the sun, but it's wonderful to blend with literally anything else that I've presented to you, sandalwood and vanilla, sandalwood and Tulsi, sandalwood and rose, sandalwood and black spruce, all of it. Um, there's a blend that doTERRA makes called Immortel, which has sandalwood, helichrysum, frankincense, rose, uh, and a few other oils in the blend. And that is a nice one if you wanna just save a bunch of time if you're not sort of the chemist that I like to fancy myself being. Let's look at the uh, Chinese medicine book quickly on sandalwood. I always find this to be so interesting. <clears throat> Here we go. Sandalwood. It's a long one. Most of sandalwood's impressive functions can be ascribed to its dominant proportion of yin sesquiterpene alcohols. So from the perspective of Chinese medicine, sandalwood is yin fortifying. Anti-inflammatory properties, clear heat, rectify the skin, heart stimulating and vein decongesting properties, move the blood, calm and free the spirit, and normalize the intention. Really nice to think about it. There are four pages on sandalwood. It's very long. The sandalwood tree is if to prove how sweetness conquers hate, perfumes the ax that lays it low. Rabindranath Tagore. I'm gonna read that one more time. The sandalwood tree, as if to prove how sweetness conquers hate perfumes the ax that lays it low. Come on. That sandalwood, there was one more that I think wanted to be spoken about. Uh, for your lips, <clears throat> you know what I love to do? I buy a bottle of vitamin E every year. It takes me a year to use it up, but I'll take some vitamin E and a little bit of Roman chamomile, a little bit of rose. And I'll make a little jar of that. And I can put on my lips, in my nose. You can put it other places if you need it. Okay. And then we wanted to look at uh, rosemary oil. I don't do it neat on my scalp. As I pointed out earlier, uh, you might've missed that, Randy. I already had some sensitive skin carrier on my hands from having oil cleansed my face. It's at that point in my little ritual that I'll put a drop or two of rosemary onto that very oiled up hand 
and then rub it into my scalp. I also think at the risk of um, going out of bounds here, let's say this, for the amount of exposure that we have to devices, I think the rosemary on our scalp is actually really important when it comes to this matter, particularly the ear phones, ear things that are Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. I, I have a feeling that rosemary, we're gonna find in 20, 15, 20 years that rosemary is indicated in support in that realm, protection even in that realm. This is just an intuitive hunch. Do not take my word for it. Test it out for yourself and see. Okay. And we are going now to uh, DDR Prime. A DDR Prime, how many drops to put it in a soft gel? I would do three drops, maybe four, and then top it off with a little dropper of olive oil so that it gets assimilated quickly. Always do that with food, please. Okay. Um, daughter, bad acne has been referred to hospital. I'm going to try oils. Thank you. Yes. Look, look. Uh, most of the eruptions of acne have to do, as I said earlier in the class, with nutrition, digestion that is poor, which then triggers hormone cascading hormones in the body that then have to come out somewhere and they come out on the skin. So the first thing to look at is not this, it's digestion, gut health, please, PB assist, enzymes, uh, the peppermint soft gels, as I showed you earlier, all of those things are indicated in proper, smooth, digestion. Even this little bit of chlorophyll in my water every day helps with that. Okay. Then start to think about nourishing the skin rather than stripping the skin. Your daughter's skin is not dirty. Please help her understand that. It's not that her skin is dirty. It's not that she's dirty. It's that nothing is happening correctly from the inside out. And we need to improve her digestion first, give her food that's easy to digest, give her food from the earth, and then nourish her skin from the outside in. It's so important. I wish I would have known this so much sooner in my life. Um, let's keep going. Let's keep going. What would you recommend for hair fall that is also connected to chronic seborrheic dermatitis on the scalp. I would mix rosemary and Roman chamomile and dilute it. I would take a bottle like this of any really nice emollient carrier oil. I'm using the doTERRA sensitive skin, but, um, and I would put rose, a few drops of rosemary, maybe in this size bottle, I would do 10 drops of rosemary and 10 drops of Roman chamomile. And I would just deposit it all along the scalp. Just see how it goes. There are studies, you can find all the studies online on PubMed and NIH. Those are the two that I would pick offhand right now. Um, great, Zoe answering questions, wonderful, thank you. What would you suggest for use with gua sha? Everything that I have indicated, I promised you that I would go through my little blends, so I'll give these to you. Uh, let's go to the Empress Blend and the Empress Two Light, okay? These are strong, these are, um, exact blends. Ready? I did 12 drops of jasmine from the roller. So that's already diluted. 12 drops of jasmine from the roller. Nine drops of vanilla. 12 drops of neroli from the roller. And scandalously, 18 drops of real rose. I topped all of that off in this little bottle with some uh, sea buckthorn oil, some pomegranate oil, and some red raspberry oil. This was a big treat for myself for the holidays. You know, you could find this online for $200 easily. And you could make it yourself. The Empress Two Light has a little less of everything. So this one has six drops of jasmine from the roller, six drops of neroli from the roller, 
six drops of vanilla, 12 drops of rose, still decadent, and then topped off with your carrier oils. Both are incredible. To do my uh, oil cleansing, even though those two are diluted, sometimes if I'm in a rush and I don't wanna open up a zillion bottles, I'll take some of that in my hand with a bunch of this, rub it together and cleanse my face, leave it on for a while, gua sha at that point, do the whole thing, then wipe it off with a warm cloth, warm, clean cloth, and then moisturize with it again if you're feeling like your body needs it, okay? It's super simple. I'm 24 messages late. Teens can take Terrazyme. Oh my God, yes. Please, please. I wish I had been a teenager on Terrazyme. My diet was so poor when I was younger. So much chocolate, like milk chocolate, heated milk chocolate, milk, dairy, wheat, bagels, bagels upon bagels. My skin suffered for so many years because of this. And had I taken more enzymes, even at that time, my body would have been better able to digest. And so the, the hormones would not have been so inflamed. Let's keep going. She is not dirty. That is so true. What would you recommend to a man 35 years old who has started to lose hair on his head? The very same, very simple. Rosemary, I, may, I might even use some peppermint and some cedar wood. Cedar wood's great also for hair loss, but for a man, I'm saying this because I'm thinking of a, a male person, rosemary, cedar wood, peppermint in a, in a bottle this big. So this is uh, 30 ml. You can throw in like 10 drops of each rosemary, cedar wood, peppermint, shake it up and then have him use that and apply to his scalp in the mornings and really give it a nice massage. Can't tell you. I just want to recommend to everybody shave your head just so you can massage your head every five minutes. Um, the bottles in which I created the blends are 15. Yeah, these are 15 ml. Same size as the oil bottle, you can sort of see. Maybe they're a little less, maybe they're 13 or 12. Okay, roughly. And great. Uh, and also um, kidney one with diluted basil, Zoe just pointed out, obviously acupuncture. Kidney one is right here with diluted basil. That's where your entire kidney channel begins. And if you address that point, thank you so much, Zoe, for your feedback. With, uh, with basil, that's a great way to feed the entire system. Really great. Okay, uh, there are no stupid questions. Stupid question, how do you get drops from a roller? So, pop it off like this. And you have to use your thumb on the back and your fingers on the sides. And you kind of work your way around. You open it. And then you take one of your, I usually have on hand a few dropper tops and you put that right in, boom. And then you have it, okay? It's a process, but you get used to it. And you always wanna push it away from you because it splashes. It will splash. This is a blend that I made. Uh, Angela Chambers taught me a water blend for also for kidney chi. I'll find out what that is for you. Good. That's exactly, exactly what I wanted to teach you today. And I'm so glad we got through all of it. Are there any questions right now? Any questions? <clears throat> Many thank yous. I am so grateful. Wonderful. Germany, Mexico. 
I'm hoping that vanilla is going to be available by May in Europe, May of this year. Dominique, thank you. Emma, thank you. Randy, best way to order. Hold on. Yes, I have a link for you and I'll put it into the chat right now for those of you that don't already have an account. If you have an account already, you're going to order through your own account. Isn't that fun? That's an enrollment link that leads you to all the kits that are available. I also have a link where you can come on and schedule a free consult with me. And if you would like that, just say so. And I'll put that link into the chat as well. Ani is wondering about bergamot. Bergamot is extremely photosensitive. So you do not want to use bergamot if you are going in the sun. That is the first order of business with regards to bergamot. I use bergamot. Bergamot sits next to my bed at night. And I will usually diffuse bergamot with vetiver and maybe some vanilla before bed. Uh, last night I did bergamot, vetiver, and lavender. Love, love. Um, bergamot, Zoe also can probably explain this too, is also a nervine. So it's very tonifying to the body and it's, it, it sort of acts adaptogenically. So if you need more energy, it will give you focus. It will give you energy. If you need more calming, it will help you to calm and feel more steady. Bergamot's a very special oil. So it's nice that you're asking about it. Um, yes, I'm hoping and praying that vanilla gets to Mexico too by May as well. Um, ear Shen Men for a fantastic reset for your whole system. This is the Ear Shen Men point. Duke. And when I first started learning about Chinese medicine and essential oils, the bergamot, right? One little drop of bergamot on your finger. Hold on Ear Shen Men 30 seconds. Oh my God, it is so lovely. And you wait, you sort of wait for the state change. You can do it without the bergamot too. Yeah, it's nice. It takes about 15 to 30 seconds and then I can feel everything kind of just settle. Thank you, Zoe, for that as well. Anything else that I can do for you guys? Okay. Happy taking care of your skin. I would like to sit for a moment, if I may. It's a lot of talking. I'm going to grab my little chime. And if you'd like to join me for a seat, we can have a little seat together. How many oils at one time is appropriate? I usually work with two or three at a time in my skincare. You know, rose, Tulsi, vanilla, black spruce and rose, sandalwood and helichrysum. Usually, that's usually the max. And then if I've made these blends like these that I've shown you, just a couple drops of that and some more dilution. Here we go. And think about your own hands on your low back, on your heart, on your face, on your head. Just think about the tenderness that you can offer yourself here, just sitting.
Take a nice deep breath here all together. And then gently let your chin come down towards your heart. Slowly begin to open your eyes. And as long as your hands are clean, you can bring your hands to rub them together in front of you and just very, very gently rest your fingertips on your forehead and let your hands not touching your face, but let your hands just rest just in front of your face and give yourself some of this tender, empathetic energy. And then very gently release your hands and come back to us. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Most of you I know if, if for any reason you would like to meet with me personally, I'm going to drop a link here and you can go ahead and meet with me personally. Love you, Kati. Thank you so much, Lutz. Wonderful to see you, Angel. I believe that this is the right link and I'm going to check it to make sure. See, perfect. Feel free to jump in there and uh, let me know that you'd like to make an appointment and I will get back to you ASAP and we'll make a time to talk. Um, and again, uh, I would like to make myself available for now for the next three minutes. If there is one or two questions that I can answer before I go, I have six minutes from now. Talk to me. Any final questions? I'm so glad that we got through all of the content that I wanted to address. It was a little longer than I had anticipated, but wonderful. I do have the recording, I will send it out. Uh, yes, the water blend, uh, da, 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 da. the water blend, I believe. Oh no, I filed it in my office, pardon me. The water blend is around, I will find it and I will make sure we could it be here. No, I believe it's in my, yeah, it's in my office. I know exactly where it is. I will make sure that I get that out. So, uh, and I would look up Angela Chambers too. Angela Chambers, what a tremendous teacher. She's very often uh, partnering with me and teaching our team and beyond. And uh, she is located in Switzerland when you find her. She's Alpine Angel on Instagram. Uh, on a wart, Dominique, very carefully, I've done this successfully. You will take a Q-tip, a cotton swab, on the top, this is not oregano, but it should be on the top of the oregano bottle. And you'll just take the cotton swab and very gently get a little bit of the oregano. And then you'll put the oregano directly on the wart. You will not put the oregano anywhere else unless it's diluted. But on a wart, undiluted, I have used it with success. You must be consistent with this usage because if you just do it once a week, it's not going to work. But if you do it once a day, for a few weeks, you will most likely notice a difference. I would be very surprised if you don't. I've had success with that. Okay. Thank you. Wonderful. I'll be sending this recording out to those of you who have signed up on the uh, free oils training page. And I'll see you again soon. I'll be doing this once a month. Thank you very much. Bye now. Bye. You can go ahead and unmute yourself if you'd like to say goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you so much. I love you. Love you, Kim. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Oh, what a treat. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, you're yeah. welcome. Most welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you. Thank you so much, Alba. Welcome. Thank you so much, sweetheart. You're welcome, sweetheart. Thank you, Ani. Thank you so much. Thank you, Philomena. Thank you, Bye. Thank you Kati. Thank you, Kirsten. 
Allison, Maria, Pamela, Hilde. Awesome. Anna Paula is here. Oh, how nice. Nadia, Emma. Oh, gosh. Love you guys. Love you guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Have a wonderful rest of your day. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>